I think today we're very clearly showing that tahini does not just belong in hummus. Now I'm going to make a tahini soup, so you can get I'm, cracking I'm on a typical soup base, onion, garlic, but I'm going to add some carrot in there as well to bulk it out. This is a really nice, simple soup, great nutritionally as well. There's amazing minerals in these lovely seeds, which are sesame seeds. Now, tahini used to actually be for wealthy people only. It was a bit of kind of almost currency, but it's great now. It's affordable for all, so we can Everyone. all enjoy it. Even an old chef that chops onions. <laughs> That's it. So we want some extra virgin olive oil just in a pan there. You're getting it going now, great. Getting it going. So get that onion. Nice and fine diced. We'll get our ginger and our garlic. Lots of sizzle action going in there. I'll stick that carrot in there too. Now, I'm glad you put the onion in straight away because it's really strong and hurting my eyes. I was I, almost, I almost going to cry, Rosie. Almost crying. Yeah, that only happens almost. once a year okay. and that's when we finish the show. Now, I'm going to add some turmeric, some really nice bright yellow turmeric. Really great because it's anti-inflammatory. So awesome if you've got arthritis, anything like that or pain. Um, I have some lovely paprika here as well, so that is just dried capsicums, basically. Gotcha. Um, a bit of cinnamon, which is lovely and used a lot in Middle Eastern cooking, especially in savoury dishes too. So some cinnamon there and some oregano. I don't think people use oregano enough, so I love oregano. In we I, go there. I reckon everyone's got a spice jar of oregano in their uh, pantry, so get it out and yeah, use it. It doesn't get used enough, no. does it? It doesn't get used enough. So we're just going to mix that one. Just make sure that those spices get toasted. Now, of course, we need some liquid in our soup. So I've got one litre of plant-based chicken stock here. Now, this is wonderful if you love the flavour of meat, but you don't necessarily want to eat it. Really great because it enhances all the flavours in your soup there too. Vegan, gluten-free, so it's just perfect. So in we go with this one. You know how they make that? They get the chickens to walk past the stock pot. You can just ignore uh, that noise that's, hap that's happening there. So a bit of broth there. And of course we need our beloved tahini. In we go with that one. About three to four tablespoons in there. It's and smelling fantastic already. A bit of already. parsley, I know, isn't it? Is that enough for you? Yeah, lovely. Okay. Let's get that parsley in there. Generous amount of salt and pepper. Have you got the pepper oh, there? I've got the pepper meal. Generous and amount of salt. Coming over to get my pepper right in there. Is Wonderful. that generous enough for that you? That is nice. That's fine. <laughs> okay. So we'll have a bit of a mix there. So it just needs about 30 to 40 minutes. Make sure that carrot goes nice and tender and all those flavours infused together. So we'll put the lid on there. When that's done, I'm just going to blend it up so it becomes a nice smooth Lovely. soup. And then I'll show you how to put some nice extra nutrition on the top. Oh, that colour is phenomenal, isn't it? Now, could you just squeeze some of that lemon through? Now, I love running lemon through Ooh. a soup. Just at the end, adds just a little bit of an extra tang in there. Really great with tahini anyway. And some zing as well. Some zing, zing as some tang. well. Now, what I want to have for this soup is add a bit more nutrition, like I said. So I've just got some beautiful nuts and seeds here. So I've got some hemp seeds. Now, you'll notice I'm not going to put any oil in a nice, dry, non-stick pan because naturally there is so many beautiful oils um, in nuts and seeds. That's why they're full of omega-3. So I've got some cashews there. I have some pepitas there too. Spin that around for you. And some gorgeous pecans. Oh, I love pecans so much. I'm just going to toast them off uh, a little lightly. And then I'm going to add just a bit of soy sauce. Yes, I know it's not Middle Eastern, but it is just really beautiful to have on top. So while we're waiting for those to toast off, let's ladle some of that into I that one. I might have to call the Lebanese police if you're putting soy sauce in there. Well, look, the thing about being a cook or a chef is to just push boundaries. And that's sometimes what happens is try it. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. But you know what? You tried and that's really what it's all about. Well, that's what my mum used to say to me on sports day anyway. I think we push the boundaries quite a lot. It's something a little bit different, a little bit of uh, sweetness to it, a little that's bit of it. salt in there. Beautiful. So just a little bit of soy sauce, some sitar there as well. Nice. Just toast that off. 
Now we just really need that to just kiss all those lovely nuts and seeds. I know you're ready, you're ready. I'm ready to go. So right just here. on the top there, we want to make it look like we've learned a thing or two. The nuts smell fantastic. Yeah. It's got a really amazing smell to it. So I'm looking forward to trying this. And the soup as well. There we go. Ooh. Oh, that is delicious. Very unique flavour as well. I really love just the lemon running through it. If you go away with anything today, I think it should be that. The lemon holds it together beautifully. I love the consistency of it. Lots of flavour in there as well. And the nuts bring it all together at the end. Great crunch in there. A winner.